Welcome to Politics and Right. I'm Egberto Willis, your host. We are going to have a great show for you. But you know what I forgot to say? This is Egberto Willis at KPFT 90.1 FM Houston. We are going to have a great show because we have some great folks in the studio today. We have one of our regulars, of course, El Senor Bruce Pollard, one of our great supporters who does a whole lot for this station in many different ways. But you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, Stephanie Coleman is in the house. Who's Stephanie Coleman? Well, you know what? I've got to introduce Stephanie the right kind of way. So I actually wrote it down. Okay. Stephanie, founder of Trey Magazine, Stephanie Coleman. Stephanie Coleman, founder and publisher of the Trey Magazine, is no stranger to either KPFT 90.1 FM Houston or Politics and Right PDR. Of course, she has been a part of the Open Journal Talk program for a very, 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 very long time. Stephanie appeared on PDR during the depths of the COVID-19 pandemic. At the time, I had moved in with my daughter in Washington, D.C. as she was recovering from t- her second stroke and as usual, Miss Coleman was inspiring. She even inspired my daughter. Many magazines, for various reasons, were unable to survive and thrive through the ordeal, but, but she did. And it was no easy task. And today she tells her story and gives us some positive affirmation about the art of perseverance and more. Specifically, folks, let me tell you, uh, if you think things are going wrong or whatever, Let's talk to Stephanie. Stephanie Coleman, welcome to Politics and Right. How are you doing, my friend? I am wonderful. So glad to be here, as always. Yes. I love your energy. i got to work on my R's. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> I, I do, you know what? I, I, I like to do that for kind of like, <clears throat> you know, because I can say... Uh, I can't say it without the role in the it's artist, but you know, same. I just, I just like to play around, I you love know, it. keep people entertained. You know what I mean? <laughs> because you want people to listen and, and have a reason that, yeah, you know, that crazy dude that say those things. You know? Yeah, so, no, I love it. I'm glad to be here. But yeah, yeah. So what's going on, my dear? You know, I really am glad to be here. Glad to actually be here in person. Yes. You know, last time we spoke, you really just, we laugh at it now and we look back as if we knew. But we didn't know if we were ever going to come back to this space at one point. We didn't know if we were going to physically be in front of each other ever mm-hmm. again. So I'm, I'm glad for you holding tight and being resilient. And um, Trey wait, 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 Magazine is out. We are not talking about me being resilient. We're talking about you being resilient. Let's, let's not try to throw the stuff around, okay? okay? We're talking about you. I tell you what. Before before we get into your stuff, I just want to bring my brother Bruce yes. in here. Bruce, talk to me. What's up? Oh, hi. It's great to be here again at KPFT. And, you know, it's pledge week. Yes. Or pledge two weeks. And we're trying to get people to support us. And um, and we do lots of things for you. We keep you informed. We help you decide about things that are happening. We help direct the public opinion. We get give you ideas of things you to do. And if you're not a member, $40... And um, what's that phone number? Uh, 713-526-5738. I did forget that one, Bruce, and hit number one. (laughs) Yeah, that's it. (laughs) Or you can uh, go on the web on kpft.org, and uh, it's an easy to fill out. And there's lots of gifts that you can sign up, and um, it's a really good opportunity to uh, do something maybe that you're doing different. And um, and. We're coming along okay with our our pledge program, but we can really uh, use some help to finish it out so we don't have to go into another week. That would be great if we didn't have to go into another yeah. week. But you know, um, and, and folks, Bruce is going to be back. You know, I, I, Bruce comes in here several times with me and I knew he was coming today. So I didn't have him on the program because truth to the matter, I didn't know what the hell he would be talking about. <laughs> he knows, he knows what he's going to be talking about when well, he knows it's, he wants it's, to be it's, talking about. It's pledge, it's pledge week and we need to, we need to build up that. So, uh, capital so that we can actually, uh, operate and help you people decide what things are happening and help, uh, Help everyone learn a little bit more. Hey, absolutely. So anyhow, let's go ahead and get back to our star here, Mademoiselle <laughs> Stephanie. Stephanie, let me tell you what what impressed me most of all is uh, what, I think I'd gotten a, an email from you or something. And I said, hey, can I get you on the show? Because. I know a lot of these magazines doing the kind of things that yeah. you're doing, they're not surviving. Yes. And you found a way to actually make online. this sort of stuff work. Yeah. Tell me about it. You know, I you know, I had to look back and say very much like the spirit of KPFT, which is mm-hmm. why it is uh, amazing that we all support and we all become members and we all give as we can. Mm-hmm. The 
The thing that I think we were doing different as publications is that we forgot to have conversations with our readers. Right. So we got in the business of saying, I'm the only voice that matters. I'm the publication of choice. And you're going to read me regardless. And that is where I think we went wrong. That we uh, stopped listening and start growing because people tell you what they want to read, mm-hmm. not what you want to force them to read. I am so happy you said that. That is so important for us to know us even here. I mean, when I when I said I wanted you to tell us the kind of stuff that kept you alive. Mm -hmm. Those are the kinds of things that keep a KPFT alive. Realizing that it's not just about what you think you want. Yep. But what your the people that are listening to you actually want. So tell me more. So as we look through and I said, okay, Trey came out of the third ward of Mm -hmm. Houston, Texas, a chance to give community a voice as very much as KPFT gives voice. Mm -hmm. How do we have that conversation and and I have to be humbled enough to say, well, I don't agree with that, but there's still a place for that voice. Mm-hmm. I don't necessarily own all the stories in the publication. I showcase them. Mm-hmm. I celebrate that there is a different way of experiencing this life. Right. But I don't make it all my point of view. Right. Um, and I'm a little disturbed and like, well, that's a different way of thinking about it. Mm-hmm. But there are different people on the planet. There are different views. There are different ways. And if we don't have those hard conversations and allow each other a place to safely be yourself, mm-hmm. then we can't grow as a community. We can't grow as a city. And that is what is so important. You know, I, I, I try to keep that same mantra in what we do here at Politics Done Right. I don't mm-hmm. agree with all the folks that, yeah. that are here. Hell, we, last <laughs> week we had a, 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 a good Republican on doing yeah. some good stuff with Nam. And I was yeah. like, we, we don't share ideology, but I believe it or not, just in, 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 in being with the guy, I liked him. And Stephanie, I'm looking at, at your publication and it's a, it's a beautiful, it's like a buffet, a banquet of, yes. of, of, of wonderful things to look at and ideas and all sorts of things that, um, you know, they all, they're happening in Houston yeah. and, um, we, we can, we can find them. And this is like, it's a taste of all those things that once you get a little bit of that appetite for some of these things, you're going to go find them on your own. Yes. And, um, and it brings it to you and it, it, it's all happening now. Oh, thank you. Well, you know, that is what, that is what I love about this synergy. And for those, of course, it is Pledge Week. So definitely support, um, Politics and Right and KPFT. Because what I hope, when I first started the magazine and I moved to Houston, I wanted what I guess could best be described as a KPFT experience. Mm-hmm. An idea that was inclusive, but it came from, an opinion of Mm -hmm. mine, right? Like I'm an African-American woman born in the South. I have a lens that Mm -hmm. I've experienced in life. So I want to be true to that, but I want to have an experience with other people. Mm -hmm. And when I'd go around and I'd say, look, hey, you can advertise and be a part of that thing. Well, that does not exist. Mm -hmm. You cannot have, you know, three, four races in one publication. You Mm -hmm. cannot have two, four, uh, two to three philosophies in this one publication. If it's for women of this demographic and this age, that works. But it's for anything other than that, we don't understand it and it's not going to. So it's taken me years to finally just say, you know what? It does work because it's working right here. Right. It's working. It's working in this studio, in this studio right, right now. Here. Exactly. And, exactly. And we were denying that as journalism. We were denying that as a business model. We were denying that as a truth even though we lived it out daily. Mm -hmm. So when you say like, how do we thrive? How do we support? How did we grow? I think even to my own surprise, we're growing because we're being honest to the way we're living and not saying we need to live the way we were told we're living segregated. And we need to live the way we told we are fighting and we need to live the way we are divisive. That's actually not the case. I mean, of course, there are those nuances, but if you think about your full day and your full week, you spend more time in community with others than you spend in conflict. And let's talk about the community with others versus the 10% conflict taking up 90% of our energy. I right? see why I had her on. <laughs> yeah. connect, connect and communicate. That's yeah. That's what it's about. And to bring people together in such a way that we see what people are enjoying with each other mm-hmm. and those things bring enjoyment to each other. And pretty soon we're all doing better. We are. We are. You, you know what is so important as you say that, as both of you say that, right, is that 
many of us, and, and I think you, you articulated it best, it, it is what we want. Yeah. But it's what's not placed on us. Mm-hmm. It's it's how there there are these forces that are trying to. Uh, you and I were talking about woke and all of that in the car oh. as we were driving here. Mm-hmm. There are all these forces that are trying to put all these things into the yeah. our ethos mm-hmm. to really keep us separate. And that's a business decision. A lot of yeah. people don't get it. Now we're not talking specifically politics done right here on in politics yeah. on this issue. But believe it or not, all these issues are in fact. Yeah. To keep us separate because it's a business decision that they, by, by sparse, sparsing things out, yeah. some can profit from it. And, and yeah. we have a lot of work to do with the environment, with, with politics, with things to make our life better. But there's, it's just absolutely imperative that we enjoy and, and get happy and together and um, do the good things that, that, that make us get along better in the end yeah. and, and fix things along the way. And you know they, what? It's so funny, Bruce. Fixing. It feels so much better. <laughs> yep. You know, it, it is amazing because for those people who like hating on others, right? Yeah. It, you know, you go home <laughs> and you're blood boiling and you're, you're, met, you're pissed, all of that. You loving on folks. Yeah. There's no, there's no, uh, well, it's only good stuff that come out of it. Alistair Waters, uh, to you, uh, Stephanie. Okay. I see your humanity. That's one of oh, our online, uh, one of our online uh, regulars thank here. You. Uh, yay! Yes, and Ste- I, and thank you. If it weren't for you, Alistair, I would have forgotten that I didn't put it on the internet. So thank you. I like I tell you, he can tell you about our PDR posse. We are like a we are like a collage and a, a team of crazy folks, good folks, all kind of folks, and. It, Whenever I screw up, every single one of them remember to tell me that I screwed up. Whether it's on the right, on the left, on the middle, or anything <laughs> else, matter. and they don't, they 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 make sure to let me know. So. It's a marvelous potpourri, <laughs> <laughs> you know. But anyway, folks, give us a call seven one three five two six five seven three eight. We're bringing you here some great content here with mm-hmm. Stephanie Coleman, publisher and editor and founder of Trey Magazine. 713-526-5738. Hit option numero uno to give us a contribution. But we want to speak a little bit more on on the issue as far as what made you, uh, you know, what... I've seen a lot of these publications come mm-hmm. and go, and I've been, you know, we've been here at KPFT yeah. for a long time. I've seen you doing this and, yeah. and bringing all these things for, for years. Yes. And it's still here. Yes. Um, for that person that is listening to us out here that mm. they have some sort of a business of this type, they have some sort, what would you tell them uh, as far as your perseverance is concerned? Because there are many, there are many reasons for you to have just said, you know what, I'm a hell of a graphic designer. I don't have to do this. I can go ahead and make me six figures anywhere. So the funny part is I've said all of that. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Right. I mean, I think you have to remember that you are human. Yes. And that you get frustrated and you get tired and you get, you know, sort of disenchanted that people don't see it or that maybe you're wrong and that you see it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I've had those days. I've had those weeks, mm-hmm. you know, um, but I think you just have to know and it'll call you back. Right. Right. It calls you back and you quit again and it calls you back. Yes. Um, but you can't sleep without doing the work that you're called to do and just keep doing your homework. Keep evolving. I don't I think you have to also not be so rigid mm-hmm. with your own vision. So the magazine has taken, as you've seen, many forms and everything. It's been small. It's been big. It's been round has been online it's yes. been i found pretty well it's still online it's i still i online, I, yeah. I read it online all the time. yeah yeah <laughs> but 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 to know that that you two have to evolve with your vision mm-hmm. and um i've been amazed that i do a small book and some people love it cuz it fits in their pocket other people i hate it cuz it's small and i do a big book and it's the same math but a different word um but just just stay the course know that you have a lifetime to figure it out and if we were more primal in the way we think of ourselves, mm-hmm. right? We're we're above primal behavior, yes, but we're, we're not. We're not but, yeah. <laughs> but as nature does, you move with the seasons. Mm-hmm. And if you're not like I stand here only, right. 
You know, that is something that I had to learn and it was very difficult to learn. And that is not to be rigid. Yeah. Being an engineer, uh, ah. it is hard not to just look at things from a math perspective. Yesterday, I had somebody online. Uh, they are very rigid in the way they think about things like monetary policy and all yeah. of that. And this guy is absolutely right. And I'm sitting down there like, I know you're right, but I can't talk like that. Yeah. Because most people aren't there. Yes. And whereas in the past, that's how I would be. Yeah. I'm no longer. So, you know, being around a whole lot of folks that have different methodologies in the way they think, mm -hmm. you know, even being around like when mm -hmm. when I see how you do your stuff, it's mm -hmm. like, oh, wait a minute. If she can mix up all this stuff like that, maybe it's not all that bad. So if you notice yeah. right now, even on Politics Done Right, we're doing things like uh, bringing in uh, somebody that does nothing about politics. I had guys that yeah. come in with books that talk yeah. about many other issues as yeah. well. It can changes the attention. It changes the attention. You yeah, know? but that that requires that openness to know that the world is big mm, yes true <laughs> true yeah that is big so yes. yeah and 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 then but you know what the other thing it, it also i think and you tell me if you agree it shows you that all people are multifaceted yeah. they're not one dimensional yes. they're multi-dimensional yeah and that's what the marketing the business capitalism all that is really struggling with right because it's really segmented it's math Right. And it and and if you look at the big publications that are dying, right. It's because it said you two will never be in the same room because you like this and you like that right. and there's no common ground. Well, actually, there's bigger common ground than one would think. Right. And if you as a publication I would almost say is it wouldn't be lazy, mm -hmm. right? And you're, actually, that is the word, right? right? It's easy to keep doing the same thing over and over again. Yeah, but it, but I, it takes time for me to get to know Egberto mm -hmm. versus getting to know Brian Bruce Bruce. Bruce sorry, um, th because I have to put forth the effort. To say, well, Bruce likes this music in this time, but Bruce is open to this other music at this time. And right. Egberto speaks more than one language and his understanding. I have to put forth work as a publication. Right. That That is not lazy on my part, right? right? Well, you do the work. You have to you do, do the, the work. work. Well, it's, the it's, work. it's the art. It's the way that you put the things together and using your art, you cry out from the page, mm -hmm. we're here. We're together, yep. and it's beautiful. Oh, yeah, indeed. I'm going to make you a poet. 713-526-5738. Option numero uno. 713-526-5738. I missed that stuff that you just Wonderful. put on the screen. Yes. Oh, muchísimas gracias. Uh, para ver, para ver, para ver, para ver. Oh, that's me. I thought that was somebody else. Come on, man. Be nice. Hey, folks, let me, let me tell you what just happened. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sink my manager right now. I'm going to sink him. All right? You know what he did? He went ahead and said, hey, man, you're not, you're not raising the capital that you need to keep that darn program on air, okay? So go ahead and raise that money. And there are a lot of good reasons why you can invest in yeah. KPFT, you can invest because you like to hear shows like us and like Rourke before us and like Susan later in the day. All beautiful music from our times and from other times. They're all mixed together. There are new stuff happening. And so the music is great. What's happening is good. Um, there's political things. There are all kinds of things about health in this local area that you find out that you can get connected with. And then there's things that happen related to the arts and social. And then there's people like Stephanie who bring it all together. I, I love the way you said that. Mm -hmm. Stephanie brings it all together. You look at her magazine, she brings it all together. I love it. It's beautiful. Let me tell you, folks, like I tell you, I have... You know, I'm a damn manager looking through this yes, darn window in the control budge. room. So let me tell you what I'd like you to do for me. Let me tell you what I'd like you to do for me. No, he's pointing at me now. Don't be pointing at me. You, you, you kind of hurt my feelings, man. And Egberto, remember, we do have that offer that... Give it, give anybody, it. Anybody who gets a new membership during Egberto's thing, there's somebody, an anonymous donor, who's going to match that $40. So... Um, I think we've only got four or five of those. Things are closing down. So if you're not a member now and you want to get an extra 40 bucks for KPFT, become a member, please. So what I'm saying, folks, call 
526-5738. Let's get, you know, I, I have another 500 bucks to raise, okay? Let's beat that. Let's raise $1,000. That's uh, right now. We can do it. 713-526-5738. I don't care if you give 25 bucks, 40 bucks. Now, we have that donor that is saying, you give $40, give I'll 40. give $40. Yes. So, uh, and, I, and again, remember, you don't have to do this all at once. Right. You can make it be a sustaining membership so the money comes off on a regular basis or you can pledge over a year and then you can uh, give the money when you can get it in. Absolutely. 713-526-573. We have two great folks in the studio right now in Stephanie Coleman and Bruce Pollard. Let me tell you something. These are these are folks that are, are here at their own will giving us mm -hmm. a program, giving us direction, telling us how you know, yeah. like Stephanie, I, I, I'm telling you, I, the, when I when I see your material, the reason why I think folks need to hear from folks like you is that folks don't hear yes. from people like you yes. doing this kind of work. Yes. And KPFT gives us the ability to highlight you, yeah. highlight what you've done. 713-526-5738. Again, 713. Did you just repeat that, yes. Bruce? I mean, I'm I, your were, echo. You, were, you trying to, were you trying to memorize that stuff or something, man? I was like, am I hearing things? 713-526-5738. Hit option one. Folks, we honestly need you right now. And you know what? I don't want to see, I don't want to be waking up in the morning and seeing my manager's face. 713-526-5738. <laughs> Give us a call and, you know, we can do this I, stuff. I, I'm in agreement. <laughs> well, I, well, you took that wrong. Actually, the guy's, the guy's handsome, okay? I, I just don't want to, to see him. That. He's handsome, but I don't want to see him, okay? Hey, tell me something, Egberto. Yes, sir. In, in your political world, you know, your, your orientation, is it important to eat? Yes, it is. Okay. Well, look, we've got these rodeo barbecue cook-off tickets for Ooh. Saturday night. Nice. Mm -hmm. Juke, Point, Juke Joint Jezebel is going to be in the 40-plus kids cook-off team's tent, and they've donated two tickets. We're asking a $200 donation. You can get these tickets right at security as you check in, stroll on back to their tent, and it's all you can eat and all you can drink at the cook-off. Houston's biggest party, and maybe the biggest party night all year in this town, we're inviting you to go for a donation of $200. You can call 713-526-5738, option one, or go to kpft.org and click that donate button. And... Uh, Please do that. Help us on our way to a hundred and twelve thousand dollars. We're a hundred eighty dollars shy. Someone taking us up on that gift. Well, hey, great. And oh, by the way, that night on the stage out there on the fairgrounds, the Reckless Kelly will be playing. And at nine thirty, William Clark. Green, 745 at Stephanie Urbana Jones, and that's all at the uh, Garden Stage. So there you go. 713 526 5738, option one, or kpft.org. Thank you for what you all do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so glad to be here. KPFT, everyone should donate and pledge. I'm going to donate two memberships for this show. So I know two people who really would love KPFT. Um, I believe in putting our efforts where they require. Oh, indeed. We have to do this together. Yes. Um, I am honored to be here. Everyone who is able to listen, if you can pledge, if you can gather, as Egberto said, you know, pay it out over time. But this is one of the last places we have yes. to tell truth, to tell the story unedited. It's not all commercials. It's not a paid commercial to come through. Mm -hmm. It's it's needed. Yes, it's needed. It so for those who've already pledged, if you know someone else who can pledge, uh, for those who've already donated, not only is KPFT required, but Egberto, we need you here on Politics Done Right. Do I love her? <laughs> we do. I'll give you your payment later, okay? <laughs> 713-526-5738-HIT. Option number one, let's blow this stuff out of the water. We don't want to go another week, my dear listeners, even though what we made sure to do, I, I want you, I, I want you guys to realize this. OK, I think this is my sixth, uh, sixth fund drive, not my sixth show in this particular fund drive or seventh. I don't quite remember. But notice that we gave you a show, a program 
every single one of the times mm-hmm. as we wield it in the pitching. And if we can try to adopt that model and it works, it works. Mm-hmm. 713-526-5738. Hit option one and tell us that, yes, I like that you know, you're pitching and I know you got to raise some money, but we're still giving you quality material even as we pitch. And how much more quality could we have had than Stephanie mm-hmm. Coleman in here? Uh, give up in us on how you can maintain your maintain as even through COVID yeah. and beyond. 713-526-5738. Option number one. So let me see your calls with whatever you have to offer. Look, Stephanie, I want to continue talking about the, the magazine, but before mm-hmm. I have another subject that I have to hit, okay. because here's, here's the deal. Uh, We are in a difficult situation with Social Security and these other issues right now. Mm -hmm. And I think we have to spend that time when New York Times last week or a few days ago came out with an article that said that try to tell people uh, why Social Security is going bad and why, you know, Mm -hmm. why we have to change it and privatize all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And good for him. One of uh, an economist that I've interviewed last year called him out. So let me go and do this and then we'll yep. get back to the magazine. Here's this. Uh, this is an important piece of information. Senior economist Dean Baker called out uh, the New York Times for its la- its false balance by allowing a charlatan to write a misleading article on Social Security. I've interviewed Baker more than once while he is not the MMT type economists like Stephanie uh, Skelton or Richard Wolf, he believes in a capitalist economy that does not pilfer as the current one does. In my humble opinion, the rules he would apply would have the, all the humane economists converge into the same place. In other words, Dean Baker, while he's a 100% capitalist, but he wants to put these rules on rent, when I say rentier, rentiers and so forth, it would have them all converge in one place. So I love Baker. Uh, here's the deal. This is what he wrote. Guess so since it gave Brian Riedel, a senior fellow at the Manhattan Institute, plenty of space to say things that are extremely deceptive, if not outright lies. The gist of Riedel's piece is that it will not be possible to sustain Social Security and Medicare without tax increases on the middle class. Much of the piece is the standard line about an aging population posing an impossible burden that we have been reading about in the New York Times and elsewhere for many decades. For example, Rydell includes an old favorite, the ratio of workers supporting each retiree, which was five to one back in the 1960s, will fall to just two to one by the next decade. This is, of course, largely true, but the deceptive part is that most of the decline in the ratio of workers to retirees took place long ago. The ratio of covered and of covered workers to beneficiaries have dropped to three to two three point two to one by nineteen seventy five so that big drop has already occurred it has already occurred for decades folks it it hovered around this level until the baby boomers began to retire at the end of the first decade of the century the ratio of workers to retirees is now down to two point eight to one it is projected to fall to two point four to one by the next decade are you scared yet remember all you got to do is raise the, the the cap on in on social security and all of that goes away but don't t- Rydell didn't tell you that. Rydell also tells us people who live until age 90, a fast growing group will spend one third of their adult life collecting Social Security and Medicare benefits. There are two problems with this assertion. First, the people who live to 90 will be disproportionately higher income workers. Many will have delayed collecting Social Security benefits until they are are 70, 870 or close to it. Also, if they continue working and have employer provided health insurance, Medicare will not be the primary payer until they retire. If adult life starts at age 18, then we're looking at people who live to 90 collecting benefits for a bit more than a quarter of their adult life, 20 years out of 72 years. But more important point is that life expectancies have not increased for everyone. In fact, the life expectancy in America has declined since COVID. As a recent report from the Congressional Research Service documented, there has been almost no increase in life expectancy at age 65 for workers in the bottom of the income distribution. The story of increasing life expectancies is overwhelming, a story of higher income workers and living longer. Look, 
that's just the excerpt from the piece, but I don't want you to look at the technicalities of what I just said. That's sort of, some of that was technical. What I want to inculcate in your mind is that there's nothing going bankrupt in social security if we do what we need to do. Don't let the politicians try to fool you. Rich folks don't pay social security taxes. After 100 and, what is it, Bruce? 140? 140, yeah. After 140 or so, that money goes on tax. Taxed, what's that? Uh, I, tax- I was just writing down, trying to figure out whether whether this is going to make a big difference. And it, mm-hmm. it, 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 they're going to maybe have to raise taxes a little bit, but not so much to have everything balanced but, out. But here's the deal. with, with the, the thing that we've magically caused, and, I, and, and the folks that are listening out here, I don't want you to concentrate on anything technical I say. I want you to, to look up on, and, and don't take what I say on faith either. Mm-hmm. Look it up. But I, this is what I want to tell you. There is enough money in the system, especially from those who rigged the system. Mm. Again, uh, remember, most of our wealth is held in the form of call, what we call capital and the income from that capital, they are not calling it income so that it's not taxed, okay? Now, you, you own a house, you own a house, you know what happens? You pay capital, you pay, you pay taxes on that, but nobody wants to pay taxes on the, the two or $10 billion they own in stocks. They don't want you to pay capital on that. So folks, I want you to not vote when you're voting for folks. I don't want you to listen to when they say, well, I got to go and cut your social, your mama's social security got to go down or else, or we got to privatize social security or else. All of that is false. Uh, We'll talk about that another time because we have a much more interesting guest in the studio with us today. But I wanted to get that piece across because I think every time we are on the airwaves, it's, it's not only an honor, but it's a responsibility that we use it to do what's right. And when those commercials that you watch on TV every day that's paid for are trying to convince you against your own interest, you have a radio station here in Houston, a media station here in Houston that owes nothing to the corporatocracy, owes nothing to the advertiser. It only owes to you, our supporters. That's why we ask you so kindly to call 713-526-5738 and join Stephanie in becoming great donors to this station. <laughs> Stephanie is a part of the station, a donor of the state. She's everything at the station. Bruce as well, great supporter of the station, but we need a continuous flow of support over and over again. I know I'm doing a lot of talking, but I'm going to be shutting up in a little bit to give you guys a chance to talk. 713-526-5738. Option number one, folks, uh, we definitely, honestly require your support. Take it away, Stephanie. Well, I agree with you. I'm going to say that number two, 713-526-5738. That option one makes all the difference. Where else can you go to find truth and story for your own betterment? It's not for the sake of the announcer. It's not Mm -hmm. for the sake of you. It's not advertisement. It is really information that you give because you care about the residents of Houston, the residents of those within earshot on YouTube, wherever they are globally, Mm -hmm. facts are what you're sharing. So I, I, um, I'm going to add to that. Call the station, make the pledge, be there both for your own self-interest um, in order to fight those who are working against your self-interest. Or go on uh, the web, kpft.org, and um, then you can uh, donate there and or call up 713-526-5738, option one. Option one. Option number one. And, and there are some offer. Oh, by the way, folks, you know, K- Politics Done Right has a nice T-shirt. I didn't design it, so it's nice. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I didn't design it, so it's nice. It was done by Robin, and it that the O in KPFT has, I mean, the O in Politics Done Right. See, I'm getting old. <laughs> right. the, the O in Politics Done Right has our logo, the KPFT logo, <laughs> designed by Robin. Come on, seven one three five two six five seven three. That is a contribution of a hundred dollars. And remember, you can do this over time you don't have you can say ah, i'll do eight something a month is that something like you're the math math guy eight something a month right yep yeah there you go <laughs> 713-526-5738 option number one option number one so please support the station stephanie yes. all right now as far as your magazine is concerned tell us a little bit about 
Uh, oh, wait, wait, go ahead. Oh, uh, so I'm just interested, how does somebody get one of these things? Yes, yeah, so we have expanded technology has fused. Um, we put them in stores and places all around the city, from libraries to restaurants to mm -hmm. grocery stores to radio stations such as KPFT. Um, but we have also expanded to where you can now buy them online through Amazon. Oh. So this is our first, this is a soft cover book. Um, you could go to our website, thetraymag.com. If you want one, we could sort of send them out if you're not in this area. But a hardcover book is now available as a coffee table collector's book through Amazon. That is great because this does so much for the, the I mean, this is, and, and you said, oh, I'm out of the third ward here yeah. in Houston. But I mean, it's interesting because I, I went through the stuff and saw that it covers all over, all over the darn place. And, yeah. you know, it, it is like, it, you know, I, I think it is, I think when we're talking about what we do in, um, you know, that, that business to social, uh, social responsibility mm -hmm. field, mm -hmm. you don't get to do that commercially. And, yeah. and, and, and it, uh, when you see something like that, you say, ah, it can it actually it can, can be work. Done. It, it can work. It can work. It can work. But it, it, it and it's a dance, right? So this artwork is a local artist on the yeah. cover. The talent, the stories are national and international because Trey is a microcosm of the planet. I saw KPFT in there. KPFT is in there as well. <laughs> <laughs> because the tray is more of the spirit of the people. Yeah. Of a certain sort of a collective consciousness than just a physical. Uh, location, right? right? There are people who share a value system. So I remember bringing this to the Dominican Republic and um, the the people who I met wanted a copy and I was like, uh, it's like really in English, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to learn my Spanish here, but like, but they could relate to the mm -hmm. feeling of it, even if lingua the language well, the was pictures, a barrier. The pictures are not in English. The, <laughs> the pictures are in, uh, what, what were they called, that man. Esperanto? I mean, yeah. they just, like I said, it's just a beautiful buffet that, you know, you, you just want to eat another page. Mm. Yeah. And, and that, to me, one, that's beautiful mm. to hear because I've always hoped that the humanity mm. would shine through, yeah. right? That the the fact that we have more in common would shine yeah. through. Yeah. Well, so there's just more to you than just a, just a graphics designer. Yeah, right? there's a little more. There's a heart full of love. Yeah, <laughs> you know it's it, you know like I said. Uh, by the way, Eric uh, Eric says hi, Bruce. Uh, uh, hey, Eric. All these are the part. Of the, <laughs> we have all this big posse out there that I go at, at three o'clock. We'll have a rumbo going, yeah. and we go at each other pretty pretty tough pretty too. Heavy. Yeah, <laughs> I'm I'm the middle of the road guy so oh, I'm, I'm trying to balance crazy. what's on the left and the right and then that, that <laughs> fulcrum point is so sharp that I don't know where I am from one moment to the next 713-526-5738 folks we need your support yes. por favor llamen 713-526-5738 and we'll be here to serve you. 713-526-5738. I know we can do it. Yes. I know we can do it. And I know, you know what else I know, Stephanie? These people are tired. They're, they're like, my God, I'm, you know, they just got through a political season. And that political season drained them. Every single, every single politician was out there saying, yeah. give me, give me, give me. Yeah. Then we have all of us here saying, give me, give mm -hmm. me, give me. I have one answer to that that politician a lot of times yes they need your money but too often they take your money and go to high price consultants you know mm -hmm. here you have all of us that drive in on our own dime you know yeah let me give a nice word to to, to sandy for a minute because sandy is here seven darn days a week and uh, he's not getting paid. He's a manager of this place. And all he's trying to do is like, we need to raise this money to keep this door open. We just got a new place open. And uh, look, it's it, it took, it's some hard work. He give us hell. We Sometimes we want to slap him around and so he forth. Gives us the, he gives you us know, the, but, the, the look of, of consternation. Yes. But, you know, that's, uh, deep that's inside. That's part of the, uh, you know, that was the part of the master's program. <laughs> oh, is that it? Management. Yeah. Oh, is that it? Okay. But you, anyway. You actually have to. You Wait, Sandy, I wasn't done talking was, about uh, you, Sandy. Could you could you let me finish, please? <laughs> I know you always want to talk, but give me a chance, brother. Okay. But anyway, so again, he's a good manager. I mean, he's been out here busting his butt uh, in every faction. And let me tell you, we got an old house and we got an old house 
back together as a studio. Mm -hmm. And and you, Stephanie, you've been coming mm -hmm. in uh, 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 lately to see yes. how much work has really gotten done yeah. over the years. And, and and I can tell you, a lot of us came in and, and worked, but this man has been here uh, wow. killing himself all the time. So, I mean, it's, um, it's worth giving the kudos to the guy. He's trying to get this amount of money to keep this thing going. Could we please, let's get it going. 713-526-573. Okay, Sandy, go ahead and say your piece. I see it Thank etching you. for the damn mic. Yeah, no, I was just going to say, this is an effort by everybody and a large group of people, yourself included, your guests included, all the people that have called in, all the people. I got Rico over here board hopping today. So many volunteers are here to power this community media station. All we're asking is for the opportunity to pass it forward, pass it to the next generation. How important is it to be unfettered by commercial interest, by the dollars being bought by somebody? You know, air this and air that. I think the most shiny example, Egberto, is what's going on with Fox News. Oh, yes. Right now. Yeah. You know, they could be bought mm -hmm. very simply. Larry Winters used to say, spare change can't be bought, but oh, by the way, how much you got? <laughs> I think he had a point there. <laughs> That that sounds just like him, man. That sounds just like him. You know, 713-526-5738. Again, that is 713-526-5738. And I see Bruce is itching to tell you something as well. Oh, my, my poem, Egberto, for today is you can pay your way. Oh. <laughs> pay your way. We're trying to help you pay your way. We got to pay our way through life. And this is a good way to do it. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is a good way to do it. All right, 713-526-5738, uh, 713-526-5738, and I'll do it slower with the option 713-526-5738, option number one. Now that we've given you a lot of kudos about uh, this wonderful magazine that yes. you've had out there for quite some time now, let's, let's talk about what kind of advice you give to people who want to make a difference in community because uh, the, your magazine is instantiation of what you are doing for community. And I mean, like I said, you could make a hell of a, somebody with this ability to create this, you could make a hell of a lot of money for mm. somebody else right now. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about community. Why is it that you are doing this. Well, you know, I think the interesting part is you look up and realize that you have a capacity to see things differently. And with seeing it, you do have a responsibility. And I went to one event. Um, so with the magazine, with media, you're in a bunch of different places mm -hmm. in one day. And so I went to a community center event that was mostly African-American at Shape Community Center mm -hmm. in Third Ward. My next event was like in the woodlands for suburban Republican housewives for something like it was. Right. It was it couldn't have been more polar opposite. Right. But they had the exact same agenda. Exactly. Right. Because the African-American community in Third Ward had received, let's say, the a certain type of issue with mm -hmm. with justice, with sort of poison in their community in that. Then I go to the other side with the judges and the mothers in Memorial and the other individuals in Woodlands who have the same dilemma, but it's hidden in these big houses, mm -hmm. right? Who have the same dilemma with their children who were losing to opioids. It, it was the same story. I was like, if they could just realize beyond the barriers exactly. that divide us, that they have the exact same fight, right? And they have the exact same hurt. And the exact same injustice. If if we could bridge those conversations, mm -hmm. so I would sort of complain about, you know, if people would just know it, if people would just say, and people, and someone said, you know, and I was like, if someone would just do something about it, and someone said, you, right? Exactly. Why don't you do something exactly. about it? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Egg, that that's a, I got a familiar story, but I'm not going to talk about it. You keep on it, girl. Right, but that's the thing. And the magazine gets credit, but it's really the work of the people that mm -hmm. are in it. I get credit for curating it, mm -hmm. but when you read the tray, it's you, right? It's right. you. It's, it's it's the listeners. It's people who are doing things on a daily basis, from the eighth grader who's helping to give food to the food bank to the 88 year old who is also still fighting this good fight for environmental justice. What we try to do is not have the talking heads, mm -hmm. not have the celebrities, but remind you as a mirror back to yourself, 
that you are the change you've been waiting for. Like you, you are actually doing the work that we have sort of given responsibility to someone else. And if you can see it, if you can look and say, oh, I know her, I know him, I've seen him, or that's someone's cousin, you can be empowered to realize we are moving the needle, Mm -hmm. right? We're moving it, we're moving it one. One day I'm gonna find this image. Um, But there's a picture with something in the Middle East, and there's hundreds of mothers and and children, like like as far as you can see. And the cameraman is on top of this wall. And on the right hand side, the left hand side is just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. Like they go out of the frame. And the right hand side is two men mm-hmm. holding the door back. Two men holding image. it was like a it's like a food yeah. uh, bank that they were yeah, trying to get yeah. into. And if those people knew how strong they were individually two against men. these two so men, yeah. Yeah. the willpower that we begin to release. And say, oh no, but this wall is too big and there's this big machine. No, it's 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 all the will of the people against percentage wise two and three. I people. want you to find that picture because that mm-hmm. is something that makes a lot of sense even for when we're doing our programs here, because that is the biggest fear mm. of you know, right now people don't want to talk about critical thinking and all mm-hmm. the critical, you know, critical race theory and mm-hmm. all these issues, right? The biggest fear is that people see who a lot of times we were and say that's not who we are. This right. is how we were, that's not who we are. Right. And in saying that's not who we are, we start to really come together. Yeah. You know how scary that is? Yes. For those who depend on us being the vat, you know yes. how scary that is? Yes. That, and that is the part why even one pledge, one donation, one drop makes the difference because there becomes this overflow yes. when we all sort of unite around the one good thing that we believe in, right? right. We can be different on a lot of levels, but you cannot deny that what you're doing on KPFT, what KPFT, that one drop in this bucket mm-hmm. is why we're still here because yeah. someone gave five years ago and someone gave eight years ago. That is why we have a chance to talk about Social Security, why we have a chance to really make a difference. Mm-hmm. So I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to be one drop wherever I can be. And I think if the listeners would just just really know that contrary to the way the other media makes you feel that your voice doesn't matter, that here on KPFT, one drop in tray, your one drop mm-hmm. uh, changes the way the world rotates. That is absolutely true. 713-526-5738. We talk, about, we talk about the ratio of donors to listeners, and mm-hmm. sometimes it's a lower number, but every donor and every person who's a potential donor think that when you donate, you're giving this gift that you're enjoying to all these other people Mm -hmm. that eventually the time will come that they'll be able to give back to. Yeah. Exactly right. 713-526-5738. Option number one. Folks, uh, this is a time now to, we we get a little bit heavier on pitching, so please give us a call at 713-526-5738. Option number one. We're still waiting to be able to tell somebody, hey, guy, thank you so kindly. It's not happening yet. It's been a rather, from what I understand, a difficult morning. So what I want, I know it's rainy out there. It's gloomy. So, you know, since it's rainy and gloomy, just give us a call. 713-526-5738. Option number one. Uh, support what you know provides that, the, the real meat on the bones, if you will. I mean, mm-hmm. uh, bringing, bringing in somebody like Stephanie, bringing in somebody like Bruce, folks that are actually, they're active in activism. They're active in supporting things to make lives better for us all. 713-526-5738. So Option a- a- number Berto, one. Yes, sir. I don't think today I said please, but <laughs> please, you know, Sandy, Sandy says it all the time. Please and thank you for helping us 
help you and share with you. Make sure you tell us what you want and uh, make sure you uh, find the person next to you who shares the same interests, the same kind of music, maybe doesn't know KPFT is there and help them guide them down to that, that dial and uh, give a little donation along the way. Mm -hmm. Thank you so kind. It's persuasive barrier is also in the house. So, uh, hi, Persuasive Barrier. I'll, I guess I'll see you at three again, brother. Anyway, 713-526-5738, option number one. So, uh, Stephanie, before... Oh, well, thank you very much, Persuasive Barrier. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, let's go ahead and say, before we're coming close to the end of the show and we're going to do a little bit more pitching. So, what I want to ask Stephanie, first of all, is give us a, a closer and a word of wisdom. Because I tell you what, you're a wise woman and <laughs> yeah, and Egberto you, Egberto always says what didn't we ask you that we should have mm -hmm. I love my brother <laughs> I love my brother I love my I stole, I, I, I stole his line right right, you know, right in, and he did it in front of me man he did it in front of me man the ultimate the ultimate cheap shot okay, but I can answer his cheap shot please <laughs> well I think what you didn't ask is the same thing that we ask of our listeners what more can you do mm -hmm. right and I think that's what keeps me going is that you both and the listeners and KPFT and those who read would ask me, what else can I do more? What else can I do better? What else can I do to help so that I can go back and I need to look at that always. It's Gene Hackman in the Poseidon Adventure. After all the things that happen, he looks up and he says, what more must I do? What, why are you asking me to do all these things? But once you do them and you take a deep breath, the joy is yeah. there. Yeah. No, it really is. So I, I, I think what I wasn't asked is what else can. And mm -hmm. I think my assignment is always to look back and say, how can I be better next time I come on air? How can I have brought more support next time I come on air? How can I be a bigger drop, more drop, bring other drops? Um, and, and I just want you, the listeners, to hold me accountable that I can keep rising, that we can keep growing, that I can stay honest, that I can stay true. Because um, it's easy to waver. It's easy to look at a no check kidding, and say, yeah. so why am I doing this again? Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. But it's also um, hard to sleep when you compromise it all. And I'm not against you know funding. I'm not against people making prosperity. But if you can make a difference mm -hmm. as well as make prosperity, then I think we're living a good life. That is Stephanie Coleman. Uh, she's no stranger to us here. She's no stranger to politics done right at all. Folks, give us a call. 713-526-5738. We have another show that's coming in here. So normally we have to break about a minute or so earlier to get them all situated. 713-526-5738. Option number one. We want to thank some of you on air. We know that some of you nice. are doing it online, but we'd love to be able to call and thank you on air. 713-526-5738. So look, uh, Bruce, thank you so kindly for well, coming in Egberto, here. Egg, Egberto, thank you. And Stephanie, you made my day. Oh, it's great. Thank you. Thank she, you. She, that, that's her, man. You know, the, <laughs> She's the day maker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put that on my car. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Stephanie Coleman, Trey Magazine founder, that's publisher, it. and what is it? Daymaker. Daymaker. Second day in Genesis, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we got three minutes. So let me say, folks, three minutes for you guys to start calling in and making a difference. 713-526-5738. Again, that number is 713-526-5738. Option number one. Come on in, folks. 713-526-5738. All right, Bruce, give me a closer. A closer. Well, 713-526-5738. I didn't even have to look at my notes. Option one, please. And we're glad that you're listening. We're glad that you're sharing with other people. We hope that you uh, go see uh, Stephanie's magazine, Trey. Um, it's a beautiful work of art, and it uh, makes you feel good when you look at it. 
Awesome, awesome. Yes, yes definitely. I'm going to add to that. I'm going to add that kpft.org for those who are all checking on their phone. But really think about this show. Really not only watch, not only listen, not only, you know, whatever device, because um, Politics Done Right is the most tech savvy show I've ever been on. Like E227 is there to promote you too, girl? Hey, E2247. Wonderful. Yeah, there we go. Anyhow, but but let me tell you something. Uh, like I tell folks, this is not the politics and right belongs to the community, really. Mm-hmm. And 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 Bruce can tell you. He's yeah, we've got a lot of we've got a lot of things to talk about in the future. We got to work out this environmental issue mm-hmm. that, that that we're faced with. We got the politics that we got to got to do right, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. <laughs> and, and then we also have community and that is, you know, not everybody loves politics, though we need everybody to have a stake in politics. Not everybody loves uh, all these different features, but they have to be in there. And what I like about your magazine is that it puts it all together. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It yep. puts it all together. 713-526-5738, extension numero uno. ¿Cuánto tiempo tengo? Un minuto nada más. Okay, we got one more minute. Un minuto más. Come through on the minute. Yep. Come through yep. with the support. Like, like you can two. do it. Yeah. Well, I, I 713 526. <laughs> you're tone deaf. 57. <laughs> I'm tone deaf. No, if, you, if you're tone deaf, you'll love my voice. 713 526 5738. Option number one. Okay, folks. And you know what? I know after we get off, you just wanted to keep hearing us. That's why some of you didn't call. So now that we're going off air, throw that stuff in right now. And But do remember, put politics in right so it can say, "Ah, I got it. And we all know COVID's happened, life happens. You can still donate while you can. $10, $20, $40, it all adds up. My name is My name is Egberto Willis. This is Politics and Right. And you guys know how I end this. Baby, I am what? Out. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.